Eben, and in this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of a website we developed using the Story Brand framework. What is a Story Brand framework? Let's do a very quick recap. Story Brand framework is a framework that allows your brand to tell a clear story to connect with your customers so that you can grow your business. How does it work? Well, there's seven elements to it. First element is there's a character in every story. When we do business, our clients is the character so our client is a character that character has a problem that character meets a guide who understands their fear and understands their problem this will be us in our businesses gives the character a plan on how to solve their problem or solve their fear the guide then calls the character to action and when the character implements this plan it will either result in comedy or success or it will result in tragedy or failure so let's jump back to the website of jubara and co so i want to go to the retirement planning page <clears throat> i will have a link in the description of this video so you can visit this page also so most importantly here is when we look at the image the image shows the character in this case if it is retirement planning we are looking at slightly older people that are perhaps close to retirement or that is planning for the retirement they are thinking about retirement this image tells a story what story does this image tell us this story this image tells a story of a husband and a wife that are enjoying their retirement they're on their bicycles looks like the lady just got some flowers from her husband they're taking a selfie perhaps they're video calling their grandchildren to tell them about the amazing holiday they are on during retirement so you can see how this image stirs some emotions it connects with the right audience anyone that's thinking about retirement then we start with the slogan or the tagline this is what we usually say this is what the character wants the character is the client remember so what does a visitor to this page want they want to enjoy a retirement they feel that they deserve that retirement so it's very important here we talk about the outcome uh, then we say that what does Jubar and Co do they have a very simple process for a successful retirement plan that will help me as a visitor to this page to retire on my terms so you can see how if I say enjoy the retirement you deserve all of us feel like we deserve to have a good retirement We've all worked hard during our lives. We also want to retire on our own terms. We don't want to work until 70 or 75. We want to retire on our terms. If I want to retire on 65, then I want my financial planner to give me the plan, give me the tools, give me the advice to do that. Okay, next thing you will see is two buttons down here. This is what we call the primary call to action. So this is the main action we want a visitor to this page to take. In this case of Jubar Co, we want them to request a callback, so that initial contact, so we can have a conversation, so that we can potentially do business. This is not to do business, but to, it's to have that first contact, the first conversation. You'll see that this primary call to action is also repeated over here. The primary call to action is also referred to as a transactional call to action. Why transactional? Because it's showing intent if i request a call back i'm showing to jubber and co that i am interested in their products and services i have been on the website i am convinced they that they can do what they say that they do and i definitely want to have a conversation do i does that a commitment to do business not yet but this is the conversation starter then the secondary call to action is what you typically call a lead magnet I sometimes say this is the goalkeeper. You'll see why a little bit later in this video. But this is also called the transitional call to action. We want a visitor to the website that's not ready to transact. If they're not ready to transact, we want them to transition. We want them to just show interest, maybe not intent. So I will say the top one is the let's get married call to action. Um, I've seen enough. I trust you enough. I'm ready to, to have a conversation with you. This one at the bottom is the one that says, hold on, I'm not ready to get married, but I don't mind going out on a date to kind of get to know you better. You'll see now why we say this is the getting engaged one. Then what we like to show also is uh, three benefits or three outcomes of working with 
the, with Juber & Co. So what makes them different? Uh, their unique selling proposition is they'll give professional and ethical advice. They will provide their clients with financial knowledge, improving their financial literacy, and they help me as a client be free and fear of anxiety uh, when I think about my retirement. <clears throat> so it's important that this paints a picture of success. Now we get to the point where we need to create what we call a story gap. What is a story gap? Story gap is the gap between where I want to be and where I am right now. So this all talks about where I want to be. See, this is the trailer to the movie. I'm seeing all of this and I'm thinking, I want to be that guy with my wife, buying her flowers on overseas holiday, calling the grandkids on the phone, showing them our awesome holiday. That I want. Now we need to create that gap. Now I realize I don't have that yet. So we kind of have to highlight the pain. Um, now we ask the questions. Are you concerned that you won't enjoy retirement? With a picture, we paint that picture. You can see the difference between this picture and the one at the top. There's a big gap there. The first couple, they're enjoying their retirement. They're having fun. They want to share their retirement with people. The second couple, you can see they are clearly not going on, on that overseas holiday. Their financial planner did not do his work. With that, we ask a few questions to kind of highlight the frustrations. So what does this do? This is what we call a little bit of empathy. So we show that we understand the frustrations and the pains and the fears that our potential clients are going through. What you'll see is we sprinkle in a few more of these call to actions, usually just the primary one. Why is this important? When you visit the website on your phone and you have to scroll down a long page, this one will eventually go off the screen. So we want to make sure we've got these. If this thing hits a point with me and I want to do to request a callback, I've got the button right there in the bed. Then we talk a little bit about <clears throat> planning for your dream retirement. So this is the services section. Again, in the background, you can see a very happy set of grandparents with their grandkids. They don't look like they've got any financial worries in the world. Then we mention a few of the different services. So this is usually just bullet points. Long story short, if I'm looking for a financial planner, I might want to know that they can do all of these things. But to be honest, I don't know the difference between a living annuity and a life annuity or an endowment. And typically, most clients might not know those differences. What they do know is that they want to be as happy as this grandpa and grandma enjoying retirement. So that's why we reinforce that picture. After we mentioned the services, again, a call to action. And then some more empathy. We again say, we get it. We understand that retirement can be something that causes anxiety. It is stressful. Um, you might be losing sleep about it. And then we say a few statements here. You deserve to retire comfortably. You deserve to enjoy your retirement. You deserve to remain in control and financially independent. These are what we typically call the philosophical beliefs. What does that mean? That means that when I'm at the bra and I talk to three or four or five of my friends, we will all agree that everyone deserves to retire comfortably. Everyone deserves to enjoy their retirement. Everybody deserves to feel in control and to be financially independent. That might look different for a bunch of different people, but I think all of us can agree on that principle that we all kind of deserve that. Some people might not take all the action to get to that point, but I think as a whole, we would probably agree that all of our children, they deserve to experience that. Then again, a little bit of the what you and guys stand for, what they believe, um, how their process work. So that again, just inspires a little bit of confidence. You will see that when you scroll through this page, it talks a lot more about you you as in the client, then it ever talks about I or we as the company. So you can actually count the number of times we say we or we or I, and the number of times we say you, your, in on this page. So it's much more client focused than business focused or company focused. Again, you'll see a call to action. A little bit further down, this is what we call the trust section. So what can we do to instill some trust into the visitor to the site? This is what we do with testimonials. We like to show some testimonials that tell a little bit of a story that again shows a little bit of that story gap. Where were the, where was the client and where are they now? What difference did working with Juber Co make for them? Then a little bit more trust. We show some logos and affiliations. Um, 
In this case, Juber Co works with a few bigger names and that immediately elevates them. It makes me trust them more um, because I might recognize some of the bigger names on here. Then the next section, what we get to is what we call the action plan section. What's important with the action plan? The action plan must make it look simple and easy to do business with the client. So it is three steps to a successful retirement. One, two, three. As a sound adds, it's as easy as one, two, three. We don't ever want to make this sound complicated. We'll all agree that when Jubaran Co does a financial needs analysis on a client, that they probably run through hundreds of different algorithms and projections and graphs and all kinds of interest rates and complicated financial projections. But that is not me as the client. That's not really my concern or my worry. I just want to know they've got a plan. This plan has worked for other clients of theirs. The same plan is also going to work for me. A man with a plan inspires confidence. Women with a plan the same. So we want to make it sound simple to do business. It's as easy as one, two, three. Call to action again. And then obviously we've got the necessary contact information. For some businesses, we might have the map. We might have multiple phone numbers. We might have only email addresses. Depends on how the business wants to be contacted. Basic contact form with all the necessary details. Occasionally, we would add more fields here if the business would need to know more information. And then we get to the what we call the transitional call to action. So I want you to think if somebody came all the way down to this page, they read the whole page, but for some reason, they were just not convinced to make contact with Juber & Co., this is a business or an industry where a lot of trust is required. They might not feel that level of trust. The reality is when we have 10 visits to a website, we typically get maybe one to two inquiries. Um, that means another eight or nine people just leave the website. We don't want those people leaving without giving us their details so that we can follow up with them. And that's why we have the lead magnet. Previously, I referred to this as the goalkeeper. So if the Customers dribble the ball through the entire team. They're still the goalkeeper that can save us. What does a goalkeeper do? It offers a valuable resource to the audience that they can download by filling in their details. So this section gives us a last chance in capturing the details of the visitor in exchange for a valuable resource. This valuable resource could be a download, it could be a PDF, uh, it could be a, a series of emails that we send to the person over a course of time. But the important part is we will have that visitor's name, email, and phone number so that the business can follow up with them. This shows their intent. We can follow up with them and we can potentially do that um, conversation or have that conversation with them to do business with them. So just to recap, this is a website that we built using the Story Brand Framework. Um, at the bottom of this video, there will be a few links for you to learn more about this process. And then, yeah, fill in the contact form. Let us know if you're interested in using the Story Brand Framework to clarify your message, to connect with your customers, and to build a powerful website that becomes a salesman that never sleeps.